Hey y'all, so Tara here, and I just got off the most amazing call with um, Joe Cardone from Corporate, who is absolutely fantastic, and I wanted to pass on some of the advice that he gave me. He got on a one-on-one -on -one with me and talked with me, because right now I'm, I'm kind of in a place where I'm so passionate and really want my team to succeed and to grow, and I'm finding that so many people are stuck and I don't quite know what to say to help people get out of it. And he just gave me a gold mine of amazing tips for really kickstarting your business and making sure that it is producing and moving forward. So I wanted to pass this on in case it might be helpful to you. So first of all, he talks about identifying what you want. So what do you want from this business? You know, do you want to bring yourself home from a job? Do you want to cover your for, for your Shakeology? Do you want to earn a couple extra hundred dollars? Do you want to really build this as a big business? Identify whatever it is that you want and then come up with an action plan for five, to, well first list like action items that you would need in order to accomplish that goal, okay? So for me, I would really like to earn a six figure income. And so I've sat down and I've identified what are the things that I need to do to accomplish that goal. And then taking that and deciding what are the things that I need to do every single day in order to get there, okay? So that's the first step and really committing 100% that you've identified your specific goal, you've identified the daily things that you need to do to accomplish it, and then you commit 100% to do those things no matter what. So that was really, really huge. Next is this was a big eye opener for me uh, is how they put it. He said, avoiding, a lot of times we do a things to avoid what is not easy for us. So it's very easy for me to create training. It is my passion, my love. It is very hard for me to send out invites. And so what I did the first, gosh, 18 months of my business is if I had time to work, I'd go and do the things that excite me and get really pumped. Sometimes for people that's like designing a graphic or whatever, but I find that when there's something that I'm dreading, I kind of end up doing all this other pushing paper stuff around that isn't really the stuff that is growing the business for. You want the bulk of what you do to be totally focused on bringing people in, right? So I thought that was very, very, very important. Next thing to talk about is the three vital behaviors. Have a real gut check with yourself, which I've had to do recently as far as my vital behaviors. Are you truly showing that these products work? No, that doesn't mean, mean that you have to have a six pack today. But are you sharing on social media this journey that you're doing, this lifestyle that you were experiencing? Are you sharing the successes and showing that? Because I felt like I wasn't truly committing to the Beachbody programs. And so I wasn't having a progress that I want because I wasn't committing. So if I show people what it's like to commit and what results you get to commit, of course they're going to want to do it. So are you truly doing that? And are you truly putting yourself out there and sharing that? Likewise, in regards, I think the, one of the fourth, the fourth vital behavior is social media. How present are you on social media? Are you sharing that lifestyle, but are you also sharing your life, right? You don't want to be all beach body. Trust me, they'll hide your posts. You want to show your life and help build trust and friendships and, and try to have that good mix of things. So that was a good one. You're an inviting, right? Get those invites out every single day. And the power hour, if your goal is to build a business, right? If you sat down and you said, my desire is to blank, then invites have to happen. And, and I, I, I recently surveyed my team to see like kind of where they're at, what their goals are. And so many of them are like, I'd really like to do this, but I just don't have the guts to do it. And I read a really interesting thing. I'm reading a John Maxwell book right now. And he says a lot of people wait for the motivation or wait for that fearlessness to come. But the thing is, you don't develop that fearlessness and that, that motivation until you do it. So if you're scared to invite, still do it. You guys, it scares me so much to invite people to the business opportunity. But the more that I do it, the less it scares me, right? So whatever you whatever you are, you know, dreading as far as, you know, invites or whatever, just do it. Don't wait for the motivation. Don't wait for the self-confidence. Just do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. And if you are still paralyzed and can't get to that place, then you need to double your personal development. You know, you need to figure out if, if you're truly stuck, don't just sit there and do nothing and wait for it to happen. Right. Or don't spend an hour on, you know, he was saying today, he's like, don't spend an hour on pick monkey trying to come up with an image. If you haven't sent out your invites, right? So get those things done. Live power hour. So the live power hour is something that we do as Team Realize, and it's an event that we do two times a month 
where we sit down and you were given exactly what to send out for your power hour and everything. And that was one thing Joe was saying is these live power hours are key because sometimes we don't visually see what it's like to do these vital behaviors and to do kind of the power hour of the business. So if, if this business is a priority for you, I recommend taking the time to do these power hour events, even just to refresh your memory on what these are like. And there's scripts in there. It tells you exactly what to say to people so that you, I have a lot of coaches who say, I don't know what to say. Well, everything's given to you in these live power hour events. They're fantastic. So committing to doing that, but really it's about mindset. And, and everyone kept saying that, and I was like, blah, 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 yeah, mindset. And I didn't really understand it, but it truly, truly is mindset. Because I see uh, most of the team who is not where they are at, they have a lack of belief in themselves. And, or they have a lack of belief in what this business could do for them. So you got to get your head in the right place. You got to be like, I am going to make this happen because such and such is really important to me. And you got to fill your mind with inspiring stories of people who did that, who got over those obstacles. And you have to believe that you do truly have it in you to accomplish this. You know, I always see Shanti when he, in his workouts, he like gets up to the camera and he's like this, like, and you can feel, he's like, I know you can do it. And I see so many team members and I'm like, I know you can do it. You just have to decide. It's not about time. It's not that you don't have time. It's not that you're not strong enough. You have that in you. You have the time in your life. You have the time in you. You have the potential. You just haven't accessed it. It is all at your fingertips. The success of your business is in your control, but you have to commit. 100% to making whatever goal you identify happen and commit to doing those action steps every single day to hit that place. Now, if you're a personally sponsored coach of mine, um, talk to me. I have on our team page a way that you can book an appointment with me and I can sit down with you. I do ask that you bring your business activity tracker or whatever you're doing to track your activity first so that we can see what you're doing, but then that's going to help me know what's going on in your business and help advise you on, okay, are you doing these action items that are bringing you closer to your goal? Or are you distracting yourself with those things that are fun to do because you're avoiding that thing that's hard, right? So I hope this helps. This really was a, is a, I've, the last hour has been so fulfilling for me in, in talking to Joe. Um, with progressing the business forward and moving forward with attention to the priorities of what's important to us and our goals and our business. All right, bye everybody.